this deck is crazy just even in normal ranked mode like this deck is gonna be insane tomorrow so this is probably gonna be the best deck in synchro storm which is coming out actually it's already out now what do you guys want to do with this deck is basically i'm going to explain the deck list i'm going to show you what it can make and, and we'll see weeping idol it's just a free extender maxi is maxi we all know unfortunately what maxi does doki doki it's good to normal it's good to special summon off of emancipators it's just good then we play a standard emancipator lineup three 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 seeker three researcher and three analyzer nothing to explain there neo spatian grand mole we use this just to make Naturia Beast. And it's actually insane removal if you cannot like run over something or something cannot be targeted, destroyed, whatever. This just removes it for some odd reason. Ash Blossom at 3 just because we don't like Maxi and it's Ash. It's good. Gigantes. You can bump this up to 2 like if you don't have some of the cards. It's perfectly fine to have at 2 or even 3, whatever. Because back row decks, you run this into some monster. It just destroys all spell and trap. It's really good quacky mayro guardian is a free negate and in this like format of only synchro monsters a free negate is very helpful they play one revival golem it special summons when it's sent from deck to grave we have cards that do that tackle crusader does the same thing but also when it's sent from the field to the grave or wherever honestly it just targets a spell and trap and uh, back to the hand. Why this is useful is because of skill drain, because you can activate Foolish, you can activate Miracle Rupture, and you can remove skill drain. We play one Dragite. This is something you can bump up to two because it's a water and it draws you a card for free. Free Supplier, Extender plus Drop Power, the best card in the deck. This is why this is a 40 card list, even though I would like to add more cards. I need to keep it at 40 just so I can see Block Dragon more often. Foolish Burial. burial. Well, uh, that, that's, I don't know why that's hard to say. Three signs. Miracle Rupture sends any rock, I believe, level four or lower. So again, extender or removal, or you can set up your grave. Like if you have this and signs, that's full combo, really. And two caught by the grave. The extra deck is, it's 12 cards. I mean, you can add more cards that you would like to see. This is just like the best ones that you really don't want to play without these. So Herald is Herald. It's very easy to make the trivia beast if you make it. Sometimes it's just gonna win you the game outright because a lot of decks play spell and traps. Coral Dragon is very good because it's good going second. It removes a card. Going first, it puts a water in your grave because it's a six. So you can easily make a six and then make an eight. And you have a water because that's very useful with Dragite. And it also draws you a card. So, I mean, good. And you play one Leonite, we play two Raptide, this is just the Emancipator stuff. Going second, you make Crimson Blader and you win games. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, blah blah blah, your opponent cannot normal special level fire higher monsters. Keep in mind, keep in mind, Synchro Festival, there's no Link monsters, no nothing, so good luck. Then Omega, because again, if you have so much like just steam that you can make whatever you want, you can make this. Crystal Wing, Monster Negate. Dragite, Spawn Trap Negate, Board Wipe plus Grave Wipe plus resets the game state, and a Burn on the Floor. The other three slots you can fill in as you would like. I'm gonna show you a really quick game where I actually played. The first game I played in like regular ladder where I actually forgot to put in Seeker, but my opponent still just ended up forfeiting because I played through two hand traps. So here's the game guys. I'm going first obviously. Let's see. I activate Miracle Rupture. He activates Maxi, and I have the Ash Blossom. Obviously, I am gonna Ash that every single time. We do not like Maxi, except when we draw a Quacky Mario Guardian and just normal summon it, and they forget to just do it in the same phase. I send Revival Golem, Effective Re Revival Golem. Special summon it out. Activate the Effective Researcher, Effect, and gets Ash Blossom. Gritty Ash, by the way, I respect it. So again, at this point, I go into... I go into Dragite. And I have not normal summoned yet. Back to Raptite. Let's see. Kawaki Meru Guardian. That's what we like to see. At that point, he forfeited. Because I want to say, even though my hand is terrible, that's still two negates. Because with these two, I'm going to make Crystal Wing. So that's one monster negate. 
and I'm going to have a special summon the Quackimero Guardian because I can just normal summon my researcher and make a crystal wing. We're going to go first. I want to show you guys like this is just the first game I'm going to show you. If I lose it, I lose it. If I don't, I don't. I just want to show you like straight away what does that can do. It's pretty consistent. Now we have multiple things that we can actually do. We can just normal summon the dragon and special summon out the seeker. But you know what? Let's do Doki Doki. Back to Doki Doki. Please don't get hand trapped or I lose. Special summon the researcher. Let's just special summon this out. We're gonna use the effect of researcher. Weeping idol. Okay, we hit something. That's what's important. Just hit something. Be happy with it. Nope. Almost messed that up. Now this is the point. It's our fourth summon. We want Nibiru protection. So we have to really do this. Uh, Yeah, we have to. I mean, it's not even really optional. Let's make these two. And we remember block dragon. Log Dragon is still there. That's why you really love that. We love that card. <laughs> Let's fill up our grave first. Actually, we already have the, gla the grave filled up. Supplier is hit. It's going good. And again, our stuff keeps on hitting. We're going to do a supplier that's going to fill our graveyard even more. And honestly, if you want, you can play even more Synchro Force. Okay, add a Guardian. Now, I mean, Block Dragon is a thing. You know what? No, this is the optimal play. I'm going to show you. I'm not going to mess up. So we do have our graveyard stacked. I'm going to do that. Now we make a Baron de Fleur. Yes, please. And we're still going to be able to do stuff like further. It's just a shame that if I was not playing only Synchros, this would be a lot stronger. So we add a Researcher because we didn't use the fact of Special Summon. Gotta remember that. We're gonna add Gigantes. Okay, no, actually, actually, let me think, let me think. Yeah, a Gigantes is fine. And for follow-up, a Seeker. What do we have in Grave? Block Dragon, yep. Now we can use this effect. And now that I look at it, maybe two Baron de Fleur isn't that bad. Honestly, like, play more, play more Synchro 10s now that I look at it. Let's make this. We really need to hit, like, something here. Something at least. Revival Golem. Okay, so we're gonna hit something. Doki Doki. Nash Blossom. Let's just special summon out the Tackle Crusader, I mean. So we didn't manage to make that strong of a board now because we didn't really see a Kawakimiro Guardian like off the top of the special summon, but still, not bad at all, not bad. And you gotta remember, Synchro Festival, I got, eh, not really too good of a hand there. I'm not gonna actually affect the bro on the floor. He's gonna set one card. Oh, and this is a big misplay by me. I forgot to special summon that block dragon. No, 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 no. If he destroys my board, I misplays, but we're good. Oh, set four. Oh, man. Set four. Let me get into the main phase. Main phase. Yes. Special summon. Oh, actually, no. Do we want to special summon? Yes, we want to special summon. He is going to want to destroy stuff. Like, for sure, he's going to start destroying stuff. On protect. My rocks, at least. So, two negations, skill drain. I have to negate that, but I don't really care. It's the follow-up that's gonna be an issue. Like, I have to brown that. Gigantes can be huge here. Okay, another skill drain. He's getting into danger territory now. I don't mind arc lighting this. And Gigantes, again, Gigantes. Called by the grave. Sure, I can still run you over. Oh, wait, I have a play. I have, I have some play. I have some play. Uh, Coral Dragon. What I was going to do is I was going to make Coral Dragon and then uh, the Tackle Crusader was going to return uh, Trap Card. So most likely he's playing Eldritches, so that means like even if he has a Conquistador, I don't care. Or something like that. I care, whatever. But yeah, that's the deck. As I'm saying, it's not bad at all. Like just regular as a deck, it's pretty good. In Synchro Festival, it's going to be crazy. Like, I don't know of any stronger, more consistent synchro decks. Going first or second, doesn't really matter. But yeah, if you liked the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, peace out. So if you guys want to support the channel a bit, you can go ahead and use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description below at no additional cost to you. It helps out the channel. If you don't know what TCG Player is, you can basically buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards there. So if you either play the TCG, want some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or you just play Master Duel, but you find some cards really cool, you can go ahead and buy them there.